what is up guys, Nitro Eagle here, and today we are going to be showing you, well, another Minecraft server tutorial. But today, we're having a little bit of a twist. Today, we are going to make a modded server. Ooh, ah, special. As you can see, I already have one set up, so I know what to do. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go to Google or whatever your website browser is, and just search up Minecraft. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing it on 1.7.10. So, <clears throat> you can go to this website. That will have all the server jars, literally, up to 1.0. So, um, you're going to want the server jar, not the client jar, is what you're going to have. So you're gonna need this Minecraft one point server one point seven point ten jar. Oops, right. Um you're also going to need Minecraft Forge one point seven point ten jar. I mean no it won't say jar, but forge one point seven point ten. So what you're gonna wanna do is I'm pretty sure you go uh, whoops. Yeah, 1.7.10. Then you choose your install. You choose this one, one of these. And you're going to want to choose installer. Because that's the one you want. Wait for it. Wait for it. Trust me. I can do it. Do it already. Oh, freeze. Okay. Oh, freeze. Come on. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Installer. There we go. Okay. Fine. What is this? Okay, so. 1.7.10. Installer. There we go. Okay. So, fast download, I guess. No, what is this? No. Oh, this is one of those ads. Nope. You're going to want to hit skip. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> now you have your 1.7. Point ten installer. You're going to want to make a folder. Uh, new folder. Once again, name it whatever you want. Eh. Modded tutorial server. Got whoops. Just sneaking out right in there. All right. So, <clears throat> clean up because I'm a freak. Huge freak. Uh, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do now is first things first, you're going to. Whoops. <sighs> God. You're going to want to control open your forge once again, like you did with the jar last time. And you get this. So, first things first, you're going to want to install the client into your Minecraft, right? Now, I already have that in my Minecraft. So now here comes the important part of this. Wait, f just wait for the forge. There we go. Now what you're gonna need to do is install server, but as you can see, it says this. But no, what you need to do. Oh, wait, I need to drag this in here first. Um. <laughs> now what you need to do now is sorry I'm OCD I'm cleaning up everything um but you need to click the three dots and then go to um your little thing and then click desktop and then double click then find your uh modded server folder and click choose and then hit okay 
and it'll install the client into your um, your your server, right? <clears throat> okay. So now what you'll see is you have this installed into your folder. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to double click on this and it'll start to generate some things. See, you'll see mods, logs, uh, that was generated before, and this will pop up, and you'll see this, right? But it'll immediately close because you do not have mods installed. And once again, you're going to see eula.txt. And you know from my last video that you have to change false to true, right? And then save, of course. And then you click on it once more, and it'll generate uh, maybe a bit more files, I think. Let me have to check my notes over here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A world file, of course. Um, duh, I'm stupid. And it'll close, right? It's gonna, like, I think it's gonna shut down, maybe? No. No. Is it? Normally shuts down. It shut down for me in the first one. Ah, uh, let me see the spawn. Seventy one. What is this? Preparing spawn. Done. Okay. Okay. So, since this is a since this is a modded server, you're obviously not just gonna leave it like this, right? You're gonna want a mod on it to do I have not done this yet so <clears throat> just go on to Google and <clears throat> just search up maybe like mods or something or if you have a specific mod that you want you can search that up as well but since oh my god that looks amazing um more info a unicorn mod oh my god I, I need this mod um, <laughs> what the heck is it for, though? Is it for 1.7? Oh, yes, 1.7410. Sweet. Okay, okay. So, okay, I'm happy I found that. <laughs> okay, so now that you have your mod, you need to do two things first. Uh, actually, you don't need these things anymore. You can just trash those. Um... So what the first thing you need to do is go into your modded server file, right, and click on mods. As you can see, there's nothing in here because you don't have any mods. In. So just drag your mod in there. But that's not all you have to do. Now what you want to do, you want to click, uh, you want to right click or do the control thing, um, and click copy the mod because what you need to do now is go. Go to folder, and then uh, you'll see this. It'll be slash application support slash, whoops, that's a question mark, uh, slash Minecraft, and then go. And it'll bring you to your Minecraft folder, right? So uh, what you're going to want to do now is... I already have some mods in my Minecraft, but you're going to want to paste Ultimate Unicorn Mod into it and just hit that so it can install, which I forgot to do in this. Let me just do that now. Okay. So now you're going to want to run this, and hopefully the mod you installed will work. They don't always, unfortunately. So, we shall see. Please work. I honestly really want this to work. Is it working? Is it? Is it working? Please tell me it's working. Yes, it works! <laughs> okay, so now what you want to do, you need to go into your Minecraft, 
And what you should see since you've installed the client, uh, 1.7.10, Forge into your Minecraft, is you'll see this Forge profile, right? But it won't say this right off the bat, right? So you're going to want to go to Edit Profile, and you'll most likely start up at the top. You, now, you might think you're supposed to do this, right? No. <laughs> you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find Forge 1.7.10. This one right here. Then save. Now, actually, wait, is it up? I forget. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, now, since your server is up, you should see in your Minecraft, um... Well, when Minecraft loads. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, okay. So this is another thing you you should see, right? This thing, right? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's gonna. This might take a little while. Not that long, though. And it's worth it. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Well. Okay. So. My mod did not work because I didn't have the right version of Forge, right? But that's gotta be a thing you need to check, right? Um. Wait a sec. Uh. Hmm, let me see something. And also, since I have more mods on my server, if I try and go into this server, it will not work, only because it will tell me that I have to install the same mods I have in this server, into this server. So, okay, I'm not going to start on my Minecraft, but just to show you that, um, what happens when you load up your Minecraft and how to get there. The last things, um, last thing. Now, if you watched my other video, you would know how to do this already, but some of you might not have. So, how to find your IP. Uh, unfortunately, I deleted my LanScan app to make some space on my computer, but you can simply either, you can go into the app store and search up lan scan this one will pop up and you just want the one that you don't have to pay for it does work it is really good honestly but i'm not going to install that right now um the other and it'll just there will be something like right there where it'll show your ip but there's a much simpler way if you do not want to install lan scan all you have to do go into google simply search up ip that's it, nothing else. And here it is in black and white. That is your IP address. Alrighty then. So, anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe to become a fledgling today, and I'll see you all in, a, in the next video. Bye!